elsewhere, the Ashanti Regional Health Directorate has tracked all 48 persons who were on the run after testing positive for COVID-19. Regional Health Director Dr. Emmanuel Tinkrain said all 48 are currently in isolation. He spoke in an exclusive interview with William Evans Incom. The 48 persons were reported missing on May 20 after testing positive for COVID-19. They were identified at Obuase, the district with the most recorded number of cases in the Ashanti region. Fortunately, we were able to track all of them and then uh, we interviewed them. The reason is because of fear, stigma and other things. Uh, so the next thing that we need to do is to try and get psychosocial support for some of these people because they did it not because of anything, but because of fear, the stigma and then the discrimination that is associated with it. But once you talk to them, you encourage them, you try and reduce the fear that's associated with it, they usually accept and then come out for treatment. So all the 48 were identified and now they are in isolation centers that uh, are being managed. Dr. Emmanuel Tinkrain said clear modalities have to be set by the affected institutions to guide government on the next step of easing restrictions on social gathering. The restrictions can be removed based on certain protocols and guidelines that we can put in place. And uh, as I keep on saying, uh, we should hasten slowly. So it's left to the individual organizations to come up with the modalities as to how to do it so that uh, we can observe the protocols at the same time having our social meetings. The Ashanti region has since May 25 recorded a total of 1,065 cases of COVID-19 with nine deaths. 97 people have fully recovered with 10 on admission and 84 in isolation. The Obuasi municipality has 389 cases and Obuasi East has 212, placing the mining community in the lead of cases in the Ashanti region. Kumasi Metropolis has also moved up to 114 cases.